Hey everybody, welcome to Beaming Knots and today we're going to look at the critical analysis, theme, tone and poetic devices of the poem Bangle Sellers by Sarojini Naidu. Critical Analysis Naidu's poetry is best known for her use of imagery and contemporary Indian themes. Among her other poems, this poem stands out as a social message that not only discusses the lives of Indian women but also the lives of Bengal sellers. Although the poem focuses extensively on the stages in the life of women, it portrays the lives of Bengal sellers as well. Not once is the poverty or the hardship of the vocation mentioned in the poem save the shining lords, which denotes the heaviness of the Bengals. The Bengal seller employs a joyful voice which makes us forget that their livelihoods depend on the sale of these bangles. The women in their lives are all portrayed as happy, probably because the happiness of the bangle seller relies upon the happiness of these women. In a nutshell, their livelihood depends on these bangles and thus they may be presented as tokens of happiness. The poem progresses step by step as if it is passing through each phase of the life of a woman with her. The first stanza relates to us the premise of the poem. The second stanza focuses on maidenhood. By maidenhood, Naidu means virginity. Thus, the colors chosen by her represent purity like the blue and silver mist of mountains, shades of pink of yet to blossom flowers, or the clear dew drops on the newborn leaves. This has connotations to new beginnings and the promise of life. The third stanza talks about a woman who is about to become a bride. The color chosen in this group is a lively yellow that represents the hope she has for her future and her happiness. The imagery used here is energetic and lively like cornfields bathed in sunlight. The second part of the stanza portrays a love a new bride has for her husband. Naidu chooses the apt color scheme of reds and oranges. The flame Naidu talks about has sexual connotations to it. It is a euphemism for the consummation of her marriage with her husband. The fourth stanza talks about the pride of a woman who has lived girlhood and bridehood and motherhood and earned a position as a matriarch. It is a phase in her life when her struggles have borne fruit. Therefore, this stanza has an air of royalty and pride etched in it. That is why the colors chosen to describe the bangles for a matriarch are purple and gold. The specks of grey add the touch of maturity that comes with age. However, critics have questioned Naidu's portrayal of women in stereotype boxes in this poem. Her poem discusses only three categories in a woman's life, maidenhood, wifehood and motherhood. On one hand, the poem fails to recognize other areas of a woman's life where women have independent identity, one which is free from restricting labels made by the patriarchal society. Even when Naidu talks about a woman bearing children, she mentions only boys. Perhaps the role model for this poem was a specific woman she knew. But on the other hand, she writes a poem that has strong sexual connotations. It is also probable that this is an ironic take on the lives of women during the time she was writing this poem. Naidu was instrumental in encouraging women empowerment. She encouraged women to get involved in the freedom movement against colonial rule. She herself was a big part of the movement and became the president of the INC. It could have been her way of speaking out against the patriarchal constraints in ironic terms. Poetic Devices Stanza 1 Rainbow Tinted Circles of Life This is an instance of a metaphor. The colors of the bangles are likened to the colors of the rainbow, and the light reflected by the bangles give it the appearance of being made of light. Stanza 2 Silver and Blue as a Mountain Mist This is an instance of a simile. Here the color of the bangle is compared to the mist of the mountains. Some are flushed like the bud that dreams. 
Some are flushed like the buds that dream. This is an example of an imagery. Some bangles are likened to the flushing pinkish buds that seem to be sleeping on the banks of a woodland stream. Some leaves, again imagery. This represents some of the bangles by comparing them to the transparent glory of newborn leaves. Stanza 3. Some are like fields of sunlit corn. This is again a simile. Here the comparison is made between the yellow corn fields bathed in sunlight and the yellow colored bangles. Some like desire. This is also a simile. The red bangles here become symbolic of a new bride's love and desire for her husband. Tinkling tear. The tinkling of the bangles is compared to a young bride's laughter and the luminosity of the bangle is likened to her tears. Thus, this is also a simile. Stanza 4 Cradle fair sons on her breast This imagery here shows that she has borne sons and nourished and cradled them close to her breast. It denotes that she has diligently performed her duties as a mother. Form and Structure Womanhood The stages of an Indian woman's life are represented through the color of the bangles in this poem. Each color represents each stage she crosses. Silver and blue or pink maidenhood, yellow morning of her wedding, red or orange fury shades symbolizing her bridal night, purple and gold which symbolizes motherhood and matriarchy. Colorful imagery. Naidu incorporates nature and various hues of nature to represent the subject matter. She covers all kinds of colors to present emotions like hope, happiness, desire, love, and pride. The after effect is a rainbow encompassing the different emotions felt by a woman in each passing phase of her life. Theme So beside the theme concentrating on womanhood and colorful imagery which we have already discussed in form and the structure of the poem, the poet also takes a dig at patriarchy through this poem. Although it is only alluded to in innuendos, the patriarchal ideology lurks beneath the surface of the poem. The women are described as either happy daughters or wives. Every phase she passes is referred to by a man in her life, father, husband, sons. The woman in this poem is to fit into boxes that limit their existence to being a possessed object of patriarchy. Even if this poem is ironic, it still discusses the ideas propagated by the patriarchal society. Tone The tone of the poem is joyful and lively. Each stanza has a certain tone. The first recalls the cry of the bangle sellers who travel on foot to sell their products. The second and the third stanzas have a profound sense of happiness and lively energy. The tone of the last stanza is dipped in pride and sense of fulfillment. 